Something that we're going to do today is called a search and rescue. How many people have done a search and rescue before? A couple of people. Uh, it is a way of being able to identify information and find it. It's kind of like if you were going to do a review worksheet, except instead of doing a review worksheet, you're going to be up out of your seats looking for the information throughout the room. Okay. So what we're doing today, since we're identifying some key components of how life has changed over time, you're going to be doing that in your ISN using your um, textbook and your, group and your group and your notes as help for you. So in your notes, what I want you to do on page 33 of your ISN is we are going to set up our page for this. So at the very top, you're going to put geological time search and rescue. And then you're going to put letters A through R. A through R. A through R. We have questions A through R all throughout the room, and I'll show you those in just a second. Okay. So the way a search and rescue works is we have different questions all throughout the room. And what you're going to do is you and your partner are going to start at any of the letters. It doesn't matter if you start at A, K, P, it doesn't matter. You're going to start at one of the letters, and underneath the flap, there's a question there. So you'll read that question. This one says, during which period did deserts become larger in tropical regions? So you'll be looking through your textbook, looking through your notes, talking to each other. I'm going to give you some pages for some hints in here. But once you figure out what the answer is, let's say you think the answer is the Jurassic period. So you say, okay, the answer is Jurassic period. You're going to write that on your ISN in spot R, okay, for your answer. You'll write Jurassic period. Then what you need to do is you need to look around the room at all of the other posters that are up, all the other questions, to find which one says Jurassic period on the bottom. Because all these words on the bottom are answers but they're not the answer to the question that's there, okay? So which one of these says Jurassic period? Does anyone see it? So I would come over here and say, here's the one that says the Jurassic period. So this would be my next question. I'd lift the flap and read, approximately how many years ago is it believed that modern humans evolved in Africa? I'd search through and find that answer, write it in section what? A. A. And once I find that answer, where am I going to find it? B. Say that louder. On the, the on the bottom of the paper, right? So here's how you know if you've done something wrong, okay? Because we all make mistakes. If, if you start at letter D and five questions later come back to letter D, you've done something wrong, okay? In order to get all these questions right, you're going to answer all the questions eventually without repeating anything, all right? So if you come back to the one you started at and you still have blank spots, you need to retrace your steps and figure out what happened. What do you think the rescue part is? You get to find and rescue something. Find the answer. You get some help, okay? I'm not just going to give you an answer, but you can come to me twice. You get two rescues. So if you and your partner or you and your partners get stuck, you can come to me twice and you can ask for a rescue. If you ask for a rescue, I will give you the page number that the answer is on. So I'm not going to tell you the exact answer, but I'll tell you what page to look at. Make sure you have at least one copy of the textbook with you, and then spread out so that we are um, all around the room, not everyone starting in one spot. You can work with two or three people. If you'd rather work by yourself, I'm okay with that, but I'd really like you to work together, okay? Let's go ahead and push chairs in and get started. <laughs> What are preserved remains or traces of previously living? What is your